Hi everyone, welcome to this session of the Tiger Academy, US Stock Financial Statements for Beginners. After listening to the knowledge points of the previous lesson, have you eager to practice? In this lesson, I will walk you through the 2021 Income Statements of Apple to help you get hands-on experience. 1. Total Revenue In this section, we shall focus on the total revenue and revenue growth rate. 1. Total Revenue Let's start with the total revenue. The total revenue is a visual indicator of the company's status in the industry. Generally speaking, if a company has higher revenue, the more competitive it is in its industry. So when I look for the leading companies in an industry, I will find all the listed companies in that industry and then rank them by market cap and total revenue. Companies that are ranked high in both of these categories are also generally considered to have a competitive advantage in their industry. 2. Revenue Growth Rate Let's talk about the revenue growth rate. Revenue growth rate can help us determine whether a company has growth potential. Generally speaking, if a company's revenue growth rate is more than 10%, we can conclude that the company has great growth potential. These companies are also the main focus in the investments. In most cases, revenue growth rate below 10% shows that the company is growing rather slowly and has little potential. What's more, a revenue growth rate below 0% indicates that a company is in decline. From an investor's perspective, this is the type of company which should be avoided. Moreover, you should evaluate this metric over a minimum of 5 years as the pandemic has slowed down the growth of many reputable companies. Ok, next, gross margin. 2. Gross margin A company with high gross margin is generally considered to offer competitive products and services. A low gross margin shows that a company is at a competitive disadvantage. According to Warren Buffett, companies with gross margins above 40% have competitive advantages and are more likely to be in a sustainable leading position in the industry. Companies with gross profit margins below 40% generally face stiff competition. Therefore, I generally focus on the companies with a gross profit margin of more than 40% over a sustained period of time. Next, Operating Margin 3. Operating Margin Operating income equals gross profit minus operating expenses. Operating margin equals operating income divided by total revenue. If the operating margin is high, the enterprise's main business provides high profits and its profitability is strong. Conversely, this low operating margin means the enterprise's profitability is weak. Operating margin generally vary widely in each industry. For example, Operating margin in the tech sector are generally above 30%, while those in the retail industry and manufacturing industry are generally only about 10%. Therefore, when comparing the operating margin of a listed company, we need to compare it with the industry average so that we can judge whether the company has a competitive advantage. Finally, net income margin. 4. Net income margin As mentioned previously, Net income is the bottom line in the income statements. In the process of picking companies based on income statements, we should screen the companies according to the inverted pyramid. The higher the proportion of net profit in the inverted pyramid, the stronger the competitive advantage of the company in the industry. In terms of net income margin, I prefer companies with net income margins consistently above 20%, as they tend to have long-term competitive advantages. It is important to note that all indicators are not absolutely right. If a growing company is newly established, it is possible to have a negative net income. But these companies have good growth prospects, such as NIO and Billy. A company with positive net income is not necessarily 100% good, but a company with negative net income is not 100% bad either. It's just that picking stocks among growing companies can be more difficult. Next, I'll use the financial data of Apple in Tiger Trade app as a case study. Remember the first step? Yes, total revenue. 1. Apple's total revenue. On Tiger Trade app, we can find that Apple's revenue grew from 229.2 billion US dollars to 365.8 billion dollars from 2017 to 2021. According to Wind, Apple consistently ranked in the top 10 among listed US tech companies in terms of revenue. Thus, we can deem Apple as a sector leader. 2. Apple's Revenue Growth Rate In TigerTrade, you can click on Company and then Total Revenue to access the Revenue column. From this column, 
we can find the revenue growth rate. Based on the Tiger trade data, we can draw the first conclusion. From 2017 until 2021, in terms of revenue, Apple ranks high in the sector, demonstrating a robust competitive advantage. However, it is a more complex picture in terms of revenue growth. Apple saw a decline in 2019, however, a return to positive growth in 2020, and its revenue growth rate outperformed previous figures in 2021. 3. Next, we will look at Apple's gross margin. In this step, we input the financial data from Tiger Trade into the following formula. Gross margin equals gross profit divided by total revenue. From the table above, we can draw the second conclusion. From 2017 to 2021, Apple's gross margin hovers consistently around 38%, but the average of gross margin over the past five years still lags behind the 40% benchmark. Therefore, we can consider putting a company with such gross margins on our own watch list and buy it if there is a significant performance improvement afterwards. It should be emphasized here that 40% is only an empirical standard, and you can also buy the company if it has great growth potential in other areas. 4. Now we will look at Apple's operating margin. Operating margin equals operating income divided by total revenue. We can find this ratio from Tiger Trade App. Through a simple calculation, we get the following data. From 2017 to 2021, Apple's operating margin remains around 25%. At the same time, the number of companies in the IT sector continued to increase from 635 to 765, according to Wind. In terms of operating margin, Apple ranked 22nd in 2017, 54th in 2018, 65th in 2019, 60th in 2020, and 49th in 2021. Hence, it consistently ranked among the top 10% in the sector. Thus, we can draw the third conclusion. From 2017 to 2021, Apple's operating margin remains around 25%. In the IT sector, Apple ranks among the top 10%. 5. Finally, Apple's net income margin. Net income margin equals net income divided by total revenue. We can find the net income and total revenue data from the same source. Through calculation, we get the following data. It should be noted that net income margin is the end result. If a company's net income margin consistently stays above 20%, it is likely to have a long-term competitive advantage. Here, we draw the fourth conclusion. Over the past five years, Apple's net income margin consistently stays above 20%. As a result, it is likely to have a long-term competitive advantage. Summary After the above analysis, we understand Apple's income statement better, don't we? We should keep it in mind that no company is perfect. Through our analysis of Apple's income statement, a world-renowned company, we have identified many problems, such as 1. Total revenue suffered decline 2019 2. Average gross margin over the past five years failed to reach the 40% benchmark However, to be good investors, we must remain sharp and identify the key ratio. For example, Apple's net income margin over the past five years averages above 20%, showing strong profitabilities. If the gross profit margin also improves, its share price is very likely to go up. The income statement sheds light on only part of the company's finances. To get a more comprehensive view, in the next lesson, I will walk you through the balance sheet which is a resource that investment guru regularly poured over. See you next time!